always the quietest part. Grand Rec, three no's, two yes. Position six, Judy Fawcett. I have two no's, three yes. So position six is approved for nine. Okay. Yes. Thank you very much. in his front yard, put a stone over it. Um, he had passed this year, and I uh, didn't feel we've been talking about bringing it down here to that moment, because it's, you know, basically remembering something. Photocopies? the grass levels because they're only this thick, the, the stumps, which are about this wide and they're in the triangles. Um, we just thought it would be a fitting place for the resting of the flag. Seven ashes.
Okay. Um, <clears throat> I, for one, have a lot of opinions on the whole field of climate science. And we got to looking at it. It's the these are the thirteen folds. The first slide gets folded up into a triangle and then gets laid on the fire. That's out of respect for the fallen flag. The rest of them just get burnt. Get, uh, uh, you let the ashes cool, then you gather the ashes, and then you put them, you bury them in a, uh, not a sacred spot, but a, a protected spot, mm -hmm. because it is our national flag. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people didn't know that I had a fire marshal jumping over the fence the second year we did it. Yeah. And he was like, what's this about? So we handed it. So when he started reading, he goes, oh, okay, sorry, jumped back over the fence and left us alone. And what, explain the scars. Uh, that's just to mark the fact that, like, uh, well, it was the first year we had 47 flags. Uh, last year we had 17 flags. Six of those were garrisons. It's just a, a, a memento of each year of how many flags were, were laid to rest. So, and yeah. it, so the ashes go below the stones? Yes. And the stones are on the surface? Or do you, I mean, yes. they have an inscription or something? Mm -hmm. uh, the stones can be inscribed. Um, I don't know if you all are familiar with the old stoners. Oh, yeah. Yeah, those are the ones that were doing it for Dad. And, uh, yeah, we just, it was just a marker. That way people would know that, oh, wow, there's, there's actual, somebody actually took the time to do this. Instead of just throwing it away and down. And so in the past, you've done this, just you and your father on your own. And did you have stones made and then? Yes, sir. We, I have all five of them. And my camera is hit, not the greatest. And did you have all the stoners do uh, all five of them? Okay. Did they do that gratis or did you guys? No, that was $190 per stone. But it was worth it getting them the recognition that a flag actually worth the good. Talked a little bit about it in parks meeting and um, where the lawnmower could easily go. When they put in the uh, the monument down there, right. uh, me and this gentleman back here were with, we were volunteers for the VFW, so my blood's behind that big chunk of grass. Uh, we were doing a the sod there too because people would walk on it and I'd have to go back and pick up the sod and move it in and then stick it down. Uh, if any maintenance needs to be helped with, I can volunteer. I, can do it. I mean, it's. <laughs> Anybody else?
Um, We were doing it the uh, the day before Memorial Day. Uh, the second, I was going to come back with your thing in the next meeting. Um, we were also was going to see about a portable pit be built, fired, let them cool down, and then when the ashes get taken away, the pit moves. If that would be all right with y'all, because. I mean, in order to get the ashes from the flag, we have to burn them, and I hate to say that word, we have to lay them to rest. And it's kind of hand in hand to be right next to where they're going to be, but I don't want to destroy the grass or, you know, <laughs> to disrespect the property. Mm -hmm. um, and, oh, Mr. Uh, as far as uh, rather than having to prepare a pit, would it be within the uh, parameters of the guidelines of those 13 steps? Because people looked at me going, Well, why are you digging in the ashes? Well, you got to remove the wood because you're going to have it hot enough because they don't just make flags out of cotton, they make them out of nylon and it's crazy. Um, but yeah, all you have to do is separate the wood, keep all the grommets, all the, the ropes because with the garrison flags, they have a rope that goes through mm -hmm. it, and that's uh, basically the firm. And it'll send off black smoke. But yeah, I don't, I don't see a problem with that. But even like you said, it is portable. And I'm trying to figure out how to do a portable pit because it's, you know, they're not light and it's got to hold up to a lot of heat. Mm -hmm. uh, one more question I have, and Brady, you probably know a little more about it, or maybe Jeff. Um, you, have you already worked with the Parks, the park, or the parks Commission? So are, are they, uh, do they have any kind of plan or they want to bring to the, they uh, have you know, come to the council and just move forward. They're very, okay. so they're directly happy with this just and, yeah, for us to do it. Okay. It would just be approval from the council and then working with me. When you suggest yes, oh yes, friends. <laughs> yes. When you do this once a year, it would involve one stem in that year. <laughs> I mean, it's the proper uh, rest of, of our flags that mm -hmm. nobody hardly does in this. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, and it's.
He's, he's chairman of the Parks Commission. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna, I'm Michael, Brand. Michael Brand. Michael Brand. Yeah. Say again. Michael Brand. Oh, Michael. I, like I said, I've just I don't, I've got five stones sitting in my house, and a five gallon bucket, three quarters full of dashes. And I really don't want nothing to happen to these because five years of doing this, and it's amazing I haven't lost my hair yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you. Just come in any time. I appreciate it. Thank you. Of course. Thank you, guys. Yeah, good night. Thank, Thank you. We appreciate it. Thanks. Yeah. Okay. Pleasure, sir. Thank you. Oh, oh you don't have to get You're the one that's really got the last. I did the Eagle Bay Drill Project for you guys. I'm going to have someone with the Bill to tell me if you hold the bag. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Two years ago. So. Okay, that was it. I can tell you about how the old earth is all over the I was in charge of erosion control on that one drop when you left that. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, next on the agenda, reports on officer boards or standing committee. Twenty eighth, three PM here in Council. The wastewater. Oh, wastewater. The wastewater. Yeah. Yeah. When yeah. sanitary. Yeah. Right. And, and when yeah. do we have a meeting? April 28th. 28th at 3 p.m. Oh, okay. 3 p.m. All right. Do you remember your KGB? <sighs> yeah. <laughs> KGB. The time again. The time again of the meeting. 3 p.m. Yeah. 3 3 PM. PM. KGB. Can you guys send me an email? <laughs> yes. Appreciate yeah. it. <laughs> KGB stands for Kernville, Lightning mm -hmm. Beach. And then it's KGB LB. I just like to say as we get closer, it's fun. Okay, uh, new business, item A, annual crab feed and wooden boat show. Who wants to go first? I think it should be shortened to the wooden crab show. You want me to? Okay. <laughs> should it be the what? Wooden crab show. Wooden crab show. <laughs> <laughs> And getting that uh, license signed. And we have gone with Larry and Jerome's business here. Uh, positive, it's a local business. It's also a member of the chamber who has sponsored this particular event. And I'm sure Larry is going to answer the things with regard to the beer and liquor thing. We've asked, and the thing that was submitted to you, uh, closure at the harbor, the Foregone uh, conclusion on my part, but I presume that 
you've been working with our new harbor master to get him uh, lined out to what you need and how to do those things. But you've not done that. Okay, I have not sat at an island physically with an island person. Well, that's well, nice to know. Well, that's same yeah. for all you two. <laughs> you're, you're, you're good. Oh, no, it's a worker, though. It's a worker. Oh, really? Yeah. That's yeah. great. That's great. I, I would get that. And I'll follow up with Aaron on that. Okay. We, we do have um, the Coast Guard is opening this year for an open house. Which we get to and they want to try to get us to do an open house for the next thirty years. Kind of like a challenge. Some new people that are heading some of the committees, and that's just an inevitable part of the transition to new people. Um, uh, pro tem, Mayor Pro tem. Mm -hmm. um, I, I can't participate in the next part of this, <laughs> but oh, that's, yeah. for the for this part um, uh, uh, on the chamber's uh, request, I, I think a motion is in order to. I grant the request. We need to, I don't know. Yes. And I think you have, do you have a question? Yes. Can you sign this so I can take it to the OLCC tomorrow morning? Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> 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 there are questions. So this is my original, so do you want to sign it? Who signs it? The government recommendation? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You signed just below that. Name the city needs to be done to dress it within the city. Okay. Okay. 
There's 20th, correct? Correct. Yes, it okay. is. While we're waiting on the sand to dry the ink. <laughs> I'd like to say that I'm happy to see it staying in the community. Yes, yeah. me too. Absolutely. Okay, your garden. Hey, you know, I will say that I actually saw my first gray whale this year today. Oh, your first gray whale of the year. Oh, yes. <laughs> well, they were out there. No, but the quarter bed is outside of the table. I don't need a sample or anything? No. Nope. You did. Thank you. Thank you. Early this year. Okay. I'm hungry. So, I was approached by one of the gentlemen that uh, used to come inside and fix up the keys for the. Yeah. Oh. And he asked if we would mind having someone attend their meetings. You know, he, he suggested maybe on a vocational basis, mm -hmm. have counselors. Mm -hmm. I would be happy to if I were actually a senior. I, <laughs> I qualify as a senior. I didn't realize that this part of this um, part of the agenda. It, it's just to have anyone come in. It's not to have a specific council member be in charge. Of, okay. Yeah. 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 That's not that. We'll rotate. And, and yeah. There yeah. might even be a time. It's an invitation. Oh sure. Yeah. Yeah, that's, mm -hmm. And we don't need a motion or anything for that. We'll just, yeah. That's good. That's good. Thank you, Kathy. Okay. Uh, next. I authorizing Eagle Bay Legal Council to file in for cleanup services and costs associated with all the part of the nuisance complaint. So the city has incurred costs uh, $5,946. That, and I'm not sure this applies, but it may be because um, oh, March. Oh, you know, I did, it, it's before. I'm not sure if it is. I, you know, it, it, it may be. We're not. I mean, declaring emergency is is just. Is, it is for ordinance. It does for ordinance. Okay. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Correct that. Thank you. Okay. Any uh, other discussion? Okay. Can we add the cost of all the cars that we spent? Say that again? <laughs> oh! No. Nope. Nope. Um, and there's a certain procedure that we have to take on resolution. Right? 
Uh, no, it's ordinances that we have to be able to, you know, folks who, let's see, read the resolution by title only. I thought that was only for resolution, for uh, ordinances. But it's, it's specifically for resolution. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, and yeah. you want to make that motion, or I, you know, it's short. I don't see you. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You want to read it? Yeah. A resolution authorizing Devil Bay Legal Counsel to file a lien for cleanup services and costs associated with Alton Building Nuisance Complaint. Whereas the City of Devil Bay has incurred costs associated with the violation of City Ordinances Number Twenty Nine. Whereas, amount to be applied includes the following. Cost of cleanup, $2,800. Attorney fees, $3,090. Other costs, $56.11. For a total of $5,946.11. Now, therefore, the City Council of the City of Depot Bay hereby orders that it shall be entered into the docket of city liens and shall thereupon become a lien against the property. This resolution is unanim unanimously adopted by the City Council by the City of Depot Bay on this 20th day of March 2018. Now, we'll take your motion. Oh, this, this assumes that everybody's going to vote for it. That's right. <laughs> that we could do just as easily. Uh, I mean, probably better in the future to uh, buy a new state. By, I don't know, unanimous consent. That's what we're looking for. But, um, yeah, I, I, oh, I completely see. Yeah. I agree. But, you know, I mean, I will give my vote away in, in talking before we make a motion that I'm likely to vote in a firm way on this. <laughs> so, did I, did we get a motion? Was, it, was, was that the motion? Did you make the motion? You can make a motion okay. there. Yeah, I move that we approve resolution number 469. There's a one hour break, uh, no lunch provided. Um, municipal operations in Oregon, understanding the fundamentals. Again, same speaker, Patty Mulder. And there's a, several different parts of that section. Uh, I, for one, would like to attend. Um, it's $25. I think it's well spent money.
Uh, the reason I brought this up tonight, I should have brought it up at the last meeting. dates on that? Uh, oh, it's April 5th okay. from noon. it first. Uh, mine's going to be short and sweet. You all should have gotten emails from the ethics. keeps the I and I out, which is intrusion of water into the sewer. They uh, TPR half of the work uh, to the tune of twenty six thousand two hundred seventy five. They did a lot of TV work. They TV Also, um, uh, mobilizing a new force. So, the remainder of 38,872. Uh, they know what the budget is. So they kind of know what they're in store for when they start excavating, but also the surveys are done and there's a little glitch in some of the points. And so that's why that it's a little confusing where the cones are out there, but they're, they're on the same page. We're going to have a pre-construction meeting for the contract. Um, the uh, Lincoln County grant
And um, also, I've talked to the harbor master about. And um, almost in, in the middle of the bay, one of our um, storage units that's electric filled now, but it's still going to have room to store some of these. <coughs> and then um, maybe more by the fueling here. Uh, I'm going to try to get that in so we get the grant um, approved by the county so we can move forward. And is that the grant that's touching fund? It's like fifteen hundred dollars. Yeah. So it's not gonna be a whole lot, but mm -hmm. it's it, we try not you know, we try to get close. Yeah. And they Lincoln County is great about that. I talked to the coordinator this staff and then and um we'll see the uh force meeting out front too. Remember that it was the uh Currently, a smaller um, AC line, which is asbestos concrete, that's going to go away and we're replacing it with PVC. Um, that's moving forward. If the contract is coming, and uh, the other thing I wanted to let you know is I've been getting. Great reviews from the board for removal. We'd be proud to see <clears throat> the city and happy that the city's moving forward. And, you know, it's, it's, council's making sure that these things are being accomplished. It's stuff that's set. Many, many years in a dilapidated state, so proud. Updates we'll have with East Ridge, um, which is the problem we have. We're still gathering legal information about East Ridge. I was wondering if Brady could give us a few highlights of the training that he attended. Management supervisor. That could have some pressurized system that's tied to the water that could uh, force water back in, even, even um, any kind of like uh, garden industry or ponds or anything should have a back door on it. Because if there's ever a water main break and a faucet is with a hose and that's running into a barrel or something, when the water main breaks, it forms a reverse suction, and then that, say, if there's a plant food or something, in whatever it may be, you get in a distribution system quite easily. So we try as the city and the distribution try to keep an eye out for things like that when we see ponds and irrigation that there's back there. So everybody's in compliant with all the con condos and restaurants. Everybody's great. They've all had their, their testing done each year. Yeah, that's, that is um, Dr. Fay from Climate uh, Falls. He's
attended the meeting last week of uh, emergency. So, yeah, and um, she kind of. I want to get prepared. And, um, you know, she said the state is not going to be there for us. I would like to do. Um, I've been going around. I went to a, a neighbor the other day, and you know, I asked, "How's your grabbing goes?" Because I was working. Well, I know we have these look on shaky grounds. Emergency preparedness. Seeing people react in this county, I wouldn't say. And with socks, okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, Mike Tyson, he has a great quote. Everybody's got a plan to beat me until they get punched in the nose. Okay. So, uh, you know, somebody tell us the state's not going to be there for us because we don't know. We don't. Know. That's that's just uh, pure speculation. Uh, the other thing is, and I don't know if this is probably, I guess, not popular, 
I've known Fran for quite some time. I, I will tell you. with her more on probably 90% of politics. A friend can be your best friend. Not in your backyard. If something is going to happen here, wind power is right offshore here. And this is just a press. They're not. But she's the one that you're going to want on your side. Okay. In, in that kind of event. And and so, and like she brought out, there were seven people on that committee, okay? And so, I, you know, I, uh, I, I'm just saying, I, I voted for her, and, uh, and Thanks, Robert. You did a great job.